and disability income with financial brokerage and I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy Monday morning to join us and with us today is Anders Dibdahl. Anders is our regional sales vice president for disability income with MetLife and I believe today Anders is going to be sharing some ideas with us uh, about developing a uh, uh, a marketing plan, as it were, to focus on your best prospect, prospects to uh, to begin that DI conversation with. Um, and with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it over to Anders. Good morning, Anders. Thank you very much, Tim. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me on. Hope everybody is enjoying their Monday morning so far. Um, today, what I want to talk to you about is. Um, <clears throat> Some market research that MetLife has conducted uh, over the past year, year and a half. Uh, we partnered with a company um, to really study and understand um, what words and identifiers um, that really drive consumers. So what we did was we got together consumers, producers, and wholesalers. Um, to identify what words work. So we came up with this title and it's language to drive your disability insurance client discussions. Now, there's three things that we found and um, it's how to begin the conversation, what needs to be done um, to identify the clients most likely to buy disability income protection, shifting that conversation to emphasize the right details in client-friendly language. And thirdly, how to sustain that conversation by neutralizing some of the barriers to the sales. Now, after this webinar is wrapped up, um, Tim and I have agreed that he will email out the uh, link to uh, this website, microsite, and you'll be able to go through and watch some of these videos, the three video, four videos that we have down there, full video compilation. Part one is protection for income. Part two, connect to other insurance. And then part three, financial stability. I would highly recommend checking those out uh, at your leisure. So beginning the conversation. And Disability insurance is designed to replace a portion of your client's monthly income if they are unable to work due to an injury or illness. And the ideal client for that is somebody who is employed full time, ages 18 to 25, eight, sorry, 25 to 50, excuse me, uh, who have, might have a family, people who are in medical and dental professions business owners, gray and white collar professionals, corporate managers, and executives. That right there is where MetLife really plays and where our products are targeted. Um, how do we shift the conversation once we've found a prospect and started engaging them in a conversation? So one thing we want to do is, and the research showed this, is that a positive benefits-oriented approach to the disability income insurance conversation resonates most strongly with clients. That approach involves making three fundamental shifts in how to talk to clients, right? So rather than talking about a protecting against a disability, why don't we shift the conversation and say, this is protection for your income? Um, I actually have a quote here from uh, a consumer that was um, from our St. Louis study, and it says, I like the idea of income insurance. I depend on my income, and that's what I'm looking to protect. So the clients really see income. That resonates with them. You say disability, they think of all the negative connotations that go along with that, and they pull back and are really no longer engaged, if you will. So the next item um, for shifting 
the conversation is rather than isolating the DI conversation, connect it to a broader insurance conversation. So connecting it to life insurance, right? As an example, here's another quote from a consumer that says, I put a lot of stock in life insurance, but now I'm thinking I may really have to switch my focus. So I'm not just thinking about what happens when I'm gone, but what happens when I'm still here, but I can't work. Again, that was a consumer from our St. Louis study uh, showing us that connecting the DI conversation to a broader uh, range of insurance, like life insurance, uh, is something that they identify with more so than just talking strictly about DI. Third part will be scare tactics and unrealistic promises. So scare tactics don't really resonate with the clients. What they're looking for is stability, all right? I don't want to think about, okay, here are my hopes and my dreams, and they, you know, that's not going to work. If I can't achieve those if I'm, on, if I'm out on disability. But what I am looking for is stability. If I can't go into work tomorrow to earn a paycheck, I have the protection and stability to still maintain my lifestyle even though I'm out of work. So after we begin and, sh and shift the conversation, the next part, sustaining it. How do we finish the conversation and get our clients to submit an application, go through the underwriting process, and obtain the coverage? There are a few additional insights that can lead to more productive sales conversations about disability insurance. The first one is the power of affirmation. A positive acknowledgement of the smart steps your clients have already taken towards financial stability makes them more receptive to discuss the additional benefits DI can provide. Um, we also want to talk about customization. Income protection isn't a one-size-fits-all. Um, we really want to highlight that DI is fully customizable to each individual client's need. Next, we want to be realistic. You can earn credibility with your clients by acknowledging the fact that they may never need to use their DI coverage. However, in the event that they do, the monthly benefit from DI can be crucial to maintaining your client's financial health. And lastly, you want to provide an insight. Clients are inherently skeptical of sellers being too pushy. Overselling the importance of disability insurance will more than likely turn them off. The clients are looking for realistic insights over a sales tactic. Fruitful DI conversations are the ones that give information that ultimately lead the client to making their own decision. An effective client conversation puts the client in control by affirming their smart decision to protect their income, leads them through a positive conversation focused on the benefits of DI, and ultimately empowers them to make their own decision. And so what we found is incorporating words into your client conversation can help build relationships and deepen them and ultimately turn you into someone's trusted advisor where they come to you for everything. So let's go through some of these here. And this it's fully interactive. You can even take a little test that we have afterwards. So I would highly recommend going through and, and playing around with this website and watching the videos, doing the interactive clicks here and taking the test to see um, how well you do. So a couple things, scare tactics. Rather than using a scare tactic, 
tactic, excuse me, talk about stability. In the event that you become disabled, this will provide you stability to meet your monthly obligations, so on and so forth. Let's see, rather than using making sacrifices, affirm good financial decisions. Rather than selling against group DI, this individual coverage will supplement to your group DI coverage. Um, no DI sales strategy, targeted DI sales strategy. Uh, in, in a few seconds here, um, I'm going to show you a brochure that we came out with that um, speaks to MetLife's number one target market, uh, medical professionals. And using that marketing piece and the DI words that work from MetLife, you can have targeted DI sales strategies. And let's do one more here, one size fits all approach. Customizable. That's one of the great things about MetLife Income Guard in that it is an unbundled product. We don't put certain definitions in there, certain features. Um, it's truly unbundled because what's necessary uh, for a medical or dental professional might not be necessary for an attorney, which in turn might not be necessary for a business owner or a CPA or an architect or an engineer. So we really want to tout the fact that our product is entirely customizable, can fit hundreds of different solutions, thousands of different clients' needs. And finally, we do have some additional DI resources. Say you don't have access to the internet, you can print out this words that work playbook. Uh, we also have our MetLife DI foundational approach. We also have our DI core stories and our MetLife Income Guard client brochure. Um, real quick, the words of work playbook is actually what I have here in front of me that um, used for the presentation. It goes in depth, shows you how to utilize this research to begin, shift, and sustain the conversation and even shows you what words not to use, what words to use, so on and so forth. Um, I, I would also highly recommend checking out MetLife's DI foundational approach. As you can see here, it presents DI in a straightforward, easy to understand manner. It's a one-stop shop to find DI marketing materials that support this type of sales approach. And then also core stories, very similar client-focused concepts at the core of disability insurance sales. Um, with that being said, I would like to switch over to our medical markets producer guy here. And as you can see, MetLife Income Guard, um, attractive solutions for medical professionals. Second page is really where we want to start focusing here because we show you how or why medical professionals will choose to work with MetLife. We have attractive occupation classes, some of the highest coverage amounts and starting practice limits available. We have a program called Simplified Underwriting, which is great. You are 18 to 45. You can apply for up to $7,500 worth of coverage by doing an application, our underwriting team does a prescription inquiry in the background. It's not intrusive to the client. The client has to do a phone interview. So there's no paramedical exam. There's no financials. Very easy to utilize the Simplified Underwriting Program. I would highly, highly recommend talking to your clients about it. We have many options to help transition back to work. We also have incentives for self-employed applicants and our riders. Extremely competitive. We have a specialty definition built in for medical dental professionals. We don't charge extra for it. We have three different residual riders, three different COLA riders. We also have a couple different options 
for a client to obtain additional coverage without future medical underwriting. Guaranteed insurability rider, probably one of the biggest um, <clears throat> riders for people um, under the age of 51 to increase their coverage as, their, as they progress in their profession and their income increases as well. Um, we have a very nice COBRA feature. Uh, we also have full coverage for mental disorder or substance use disorders for certain occupations. This next page here is really my favorite because it really breaks down where MetLife plays. Now, all of these medical professions, they're in our, they're, they're medical profession, we target them, we want to work with them. However, knowing how competitive uh, the competition is out there, being very candid with you, the 6M and the 5M occupations. These occupation classes are where MetLife really shines. So your allergist, your cardiologist, family practitioner, general practitioner, uh, to name a few, all surgeons with the exception of orthopedics, dermatologists, neurosurgeons, those types of occupations. That's really where MetLife is going to shine against the competition. Um, on the right side of the page here, as you can see, we have a little rate scale here that shows you this is a male applying for $10,000 worth of coverage, 90-day elimination period to age 67 benefit period. Residual risk recovery, we have a 3% compound COLA on there, catastrophic benefit as well. As you can see, somebody aged 35 in the 6M, say this is an oncologist or a pediatrician, $334 a month, 45. As you can see, uh, 5M is 11% less than 4M, 6M is 27% less than 5M. So highly competitive rates, very good value for your clients. Um, as we can see here, first year physician, they don't necessarily have an established track record of financials. Again, they're within their first year of exiting residency. They can ap apply for up to $7,500 worth of coverage. Can utilize the simplified underwriting program, have the guaranteed insurability rider on there. So when we think about that, for your client, your first year physician client, to obtain full boat coverage, $7,500 worth of monthly benefit, guaranteed insurability. So as their income increases, they can increase their coverage without future med medical underwriting. All under the simplified underwriting umbrella, a full application and a phone interview. We do a prescription inquiry in the background. It's not intrusive to the client. Really talk to your clients about utilizing this. It's so easy. We've seen cases be issued in as little as 48 hours. Here we go. Here is simplified underwriting, the full app, personal history interview. Um, again, this shows 6,500. We actually recently made a change. It was actually last Friday. Uh, we released that benefit amount is now $7,500 for simplified underwriting. Um, here's a little example, a case study, if you will. We have Monica, oncology resident, utilizing simplified underwriting. $5,000 a month, monthly benefit with starting practice limits. And since Mona is, Monica, excuse me, is a 6M OCT class, she has full mental nervous alcohol drug disorder coverage on there, residual with recovery, 3% compound GIO, catastrophic and AIB. Step two, she's in her final year of residency, signed the contract for $240,000. Since her initial policy contained the GIO, she can increase her coverage to $11,000 with no additional medical underwriting. Fast forward to step three, a couple years down the road, she becomes partner, increases her income to $475,000. With that GIO rider, she can now increase 
to our maximum limit of 17,000. She was able to get this through our simplified underwriting program, again, which was a full application and a phone interview. It's very easy to issue disability coverage to your clients through this program. So I know we're coming up close to our 30 minute window here. Um, Tom, can we open it up for questions, if there are any? I know I, want, I don't want to take up uh, too much time here. I want to be cognizant of everybody's schedule and, and give them some time back here. Sure. Um, if anybody has any questions, uh, go right ahead and jump in. I, I should have taken everybody off <laughs> mute. Um, and uh, as Anders said, I will be getting this out to everybody. It doesn't look like we have any questions at, at this time. Well, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, wrap things up here. Um, thank you. Muted.